Hello everyone. So in the last episode we worked on uh, how to save and load the weapons, weapon data, but it only inclu included what kind of a weapon play is holding currently and when we start the game next time, uh, when the game is loaded, player will already have uh, the previous weapons he had before. So but we didn't save the actual weapon uh, ammo counts so that's what we are going to work on today so here you can see at the moment we have zero ammo so let me collect some now we have 35 15 35 is the total ammo count and the 15 is the loaded demo count and here 170 is the total ammo count 30 is the loaded demo count uh, no, it's other. Uh, this one is actually 170 is actually not the total. The remaining ammo count. Total is 200. So, yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. And to demonstrate that, here also the game is saved. And when I load, you can see 17030. And uh, in the AK, 3550 in the system so ammo count is also saved and loaded that's what we are going to work on today all right so last time we implemented a way to uh, save the weapons so when i start the game i do have the weapons that i already uh, had before when i save the game so but as i said the ammo data is not actually saved and loaded only the default values that we have within the blueprints are there so to save ammo data that's what we're going to look into next so as the first step i'll add primary weapon mm. I think if we have a separate data structure that hold the primary weapon class and the loaded weapon, uh, loaded ammo count and the total ammo count. If we can have those values saved in a same structure, these things would be more cleaner. So, so Let's add a new data structure. Mm. Weapon data. And here we need to have first weapon class. This has to be a BB gun class. And then an integer uh, what are the ammo counts we have I think loaded ammo count and total ammo count those are the two things we have but let's check yeah total and loaded other things are comes with coming with the weapon blueprint. We don't need to save them. So load a demo card. Okay. Now, when we save, no, we need to change this to weapon data. Okay. 
now when we save which is this one yeah this is broken now because the data types are changed let's first fix save function yeah as you can see the errors because our data types changed oh here i haven't even disconnected i didn't notice that okay split here goes the class i think we need more space Uh, object references okay uh, let's do a casting to be ordered ammo count and total ammo count okay Let's do the same for the two weapon categories also. Well, actually, I could have duplicated the whole thing. And let's do that for the next step. saving part mm, this okay we need to change this function get saved player data which I defined in the instead of bb gun weapon data should have errors here now yeah so now here uh, let's make a 
we need more space. Break. Break. Right now, I rest, but still, we didn't do anything with these numbers. So, we need to set these values. Uh, but how? Let's set a return. Return node then. Return this reference. This is a function. I think I should promote this to a variable first. Oh, sorry. Not a uh, weapon in that level. Not a variable in that score. We need a local variable. The reason it, I did that is I kind of get the feeling if I directly connect it here, uh, it doesn't really happen, but I kind of feel like this function is called twice. Uh, actually, it doesn't happen, but I feel safer this way. It's not really logical. So, yeah. Okay, now we have an output here. So we can call set uh, loaded demo count. Easily duplicate. Set to uh, lamo count. Values we have. So by default we have zero for loaded demo count and total demo count. So when I load we should not have any oh not really we don't have anything in the in that save file because we changed the um data structure too. Yeah, so that means we need to clear the existing save file, otherwise we will run into errors. In fact, I have, I got some errors, so let's clear the save game and check. Okay, now let's check here. Oh, so I get terrors. I think here. Mm. Yeah, we need to check if 
we get a valid reference. Only if we get valid uh, weapon class, a weapon actor, we should try to set. That's what these errors are, right? And if not, we should skip to the next weapon. should not have any errors if everything is working correctly yeah we don't okay now let's actually have some weapons and save okay right now we got the weapons how about the ammo comes yeah we don't have any ammo because we didn't have any ammo in the first place so yeah it is working as expected now here let's collect some ammo 200 here how much we got for the pistol okay 35 170 35 all right i think the game is saved here also if I remember correctly yeah game saved okay 170 ammo count let's see yeah 170 30 all right so the weapon ammo data also saved cool so yeah I think that's enough for today now we have a system to save and load ammo count and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye